Hey Pam. Hi Marino. You look like you're enjoying your new role over there at SPC. Yes, it's going swimmingly. I've got some urgent homework for you. We need you to, to learn all about this harvest strategy stuff and report back to me on Friday. All good? Yeah, sounds good. Good. Thanks. Bye. Bye. I have to learn about harvest strategies and I know you're an expert. Do you think you can help me out? Sure. The main goal is to achieve long-term objectives for the fishery through a planned management approach. So the first thing you need to think about when developing a harvest strategy are your management objectives. These are the aims and goals of your fishery. And who decides what these objectives should be? Stakeholders, of course. It's their fishery after all. So can I ask, what's your objective? I just want to catch more fish than that guy. After defining your management objectives, you develop your management procedure. But Brad, how does it all work? You start with the data collection process. These data are used to estimate the status of the stock. Who determines what management procedure you should take, Brad? Stakeholders do. It's their fishery after all. Hey Finley, what are you up to? I'm in the market for a new car. Management strategy evaluation. MSC. Ah, I know a thing or two. You use it to help choose your management procedure. I wouldn't choose this car because I think it's too big, and I wouldn't choose this car because I think it's too... Can you tell me more about the monitoring strategy? After developing, testing, and agree on a management procedure, you need to put that into action. While your management procedure is running, you keep a close eye on your fishery to make sure everything is running properly. Perfect, perfect, perfect.